everybody, happy holidays. So I'm here in New York, and as you know, due to COVID-19, not a lot of winter markets are open. However, the winter village here at Bryant Park is. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk around the park, show you guys some of the holiday treats that they have, do a little food tour, so that we can bring the holiday experience to you right at home for free 99 yes <laughs> so this year there's a lot of new regulations you must wear masks um, a lot of the stores are spread out even the ice skating rink that you see behind me it's called the rink they have rules um, they have new rules like reduced capacity you have to wear a mask while you skate so everybody's taking precautions here i'm also taking precautions i got my hand sanitizer you already know i'm gonna wash my hands between takes and i'm wearing my mask with that said, let's begin our winter market food tour. Let's go. You know we gotta celebrate the holidays with some apple cider, right? So this is a perfect, look at this stall. Look at this amazing, incredible stall. Okay, so let's see what they got. Oh my gosh, it's like ornament shop. Wow. Hi, good. How big is the apple cider, the cup? Size. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Okay, can we get an apple cider, please? Just one? Just one apple yeah. cider? Yes, just one. Thank you so much. I've actually never had hot apple cider before. So this is exciting. Here we go. It's so hot. I don't know what a, it's hot apple cider. I don't know why I thought it would be like a little warm, but uh, yeah, it's really hot. But other than that, it tastes like hot apple cider. I'm <laughs> so good. So great. Not worth the $5, you guys. But you know what? We're here in the holidays. This is why I buy it for you guys. So you don't have to spend the money. <laughs> great experience to be drinking hot apple cider at the winter market, right? On to the next place. Ooh, that burnt my lips. Oh, hey guys. So we're going to the next place. Um, this place, like every time I go to a winter market, I always see it, but I never, I've never tried it. It looks so good. So this is where you can get chocolate truffle and their slogan is no chewing allowed because it's supposed to just melt in your mouth. So it's this brand right here. We're gonna see if we can get a sample. <laughs> I'm smiling under this. Can you tell? Hello, sir. Do you think we can try a sample? Sure. Thank you. Wow, look at that, you guys. All right, you guys, so they have like salted toffee, hazelnut, pistachio, champagne, coffee beans. They got a whole lot. So we're going to try the classic flavor. I've already hand sanitized my hands. So here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not chewing. Mm, don't chew. <laughs> it's so good. It literally is like the creamiest chocolate ever. And it's just melting in my mouth. Wow, I'll take 10 boxes, please. <laughs> wow, you guys are here every year, right? Every year, yeah. Every year, you guys. Can they buy it online too? Yes. No. Oh. got the website on the card. Mm. Uh, okay, great. You guys heard it here first. No chewing allowed. That applies to a lot of things. Hey okay guys, so here at um, Hudson Valley Farmhouse, it's like an organic farm and you can buy a ton of holiday flavored goodies. So let's check out some of the flavors. All right, so check out these cookies. There's ginger snaps, chocolate chip cookies, and then they have these gingerbread boys and girls. Look at that. They're so cute. Homemade apple cider donuts. What? You know what? I think we should do gingerbread because we already got the cider. Yeah, can we get one of those? Yeah, give me the guy. Give me the boy. I'm gonna bite into him. <laughs> that was the Breezy Hill Orchid, and they're actually a New Year Green Market farm. Eco-friendly and fair trade, and they're known for their delicious cider donuts, and of course, the famous gingerbread boys and girls. So that is what we're gonna eat right now. Apparently, the best tradition of European holiday markets is to eat gingerbread boys and girls. So here we go. There you go, you guys. Wow. Brown chicken. Wow. wow. <laughs> I, this is a gigantic gingerbread. So where, where should we eat from? The head or from the bottom? Okay, I think I'm going to go from the leg. <gasps> Try this. Okay, ready? Mmm. Mmm, wow. You should have apple cider and gingerbread because the gingerbread it's quite dry, but this particular one actually has like 
It looks really tough, but it actually has some softness to it. And the gingerbread flavor just overwhelms your mouth. It's quite delicious. Wow. I'm in the holiday spirit. He just got a treatment today. All right, guys, let's head to the next spot. It's really unfortunate that a lot of the winter markets are not open this year because of you know who. We definitely are just trying to bring the holiday spirit to you. And I know a lot of us can't travel either. So hopefully it's like you're here with me, you know? It's like we're walking the winter market. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Hi. Um, can I just get the pan fried pork buns? Yes, thank you. So all of the dumplings are already made and they're like in little containers on the side and they just microwave it when you order it. Can I get a, a s'mores waffle? Yeah. We got their s'mores waffle. It's got Belgian chocolate fudge, marshmallow, and their classic waffle. Oh my gosh, and it's warm and delicious. Let's try it. For a very long time, I always thought that this place was called Waffle and Dingles. Anyone else? <laughs> so I got their s'mores waffle and it's looking so good. And then on the side, I also got some savory pan fried buns. I'm very shocked to find this at the winter market, um, but I'm glad it's here. So now we can do a savory and sweet little combo. Okay, get into it. We want to eat it while it's warm. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it looks like peanut butter on top, but maybe it's like a caramel. But my gosh, look at it just melting. Oh my goodness. We're going to get a piece with the waffle, with the marshmallow, with the fudge, with the sauces. I mean, oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. The waffle's got this um, like cinnamon taste to it. It got a little bit of a spice in there. It's super soft, it's so warm. All of the sugar, chocolatey, buttery things together is delicious. Also, the sun just came out. Walking in a winter wonderland beach. In order to tell if a pan fried bun is good, you gotta see the bottom. So, but not, wow. That is indeed pan fried, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a nice little crust, so let's see how it actually tastes like. I'm gonna bite into it. You ready? Mmm. 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 The dough is a little dry, but let me get more of this filling. Now, you know I'm more critical of my Asian food, but this isn't bad. It isn't bad. The dough is really fluffy. There's a lot more dough to meat ratio, but it's not bad actually. Like compared to a lot of the pan fried buns I tried, not bad. It's not the best, not the worst, right in the middle, okay? It is one of the most expensive. This was $13 for six. They're usually about six, $7 for six. So just know that, but you are at the winter market. You know, we come here for the experience, not for cheap food. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Woo. Okay guys, for our final snacky snack and holiday treat, we're gonna get a little donut here. Bumble it has Boston cream in it. And then hot chocolate with some whipped cream. Oh my gosh, yes, let's go try it. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we just spent $100 at this market, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm pretty close. <laughs> in New York. So this is the hot chocolate. Now this hot chocolate is a little different because they said it's made the Italian way. So it's a little bit more thick and more creamy. And you know, we like it thick and creamy and some white stuff on top as well. All my favorite combos and texture. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's really, really good. <laughs> top hot chocolate. Definitely one of the better hot chocolate I've ever tasted. Mmm. When she was pouring it out, it looked so thick and creamy because there was this large hot chocolate jar. I think she added in some milk here, so it just smooths it all out. It's not like I needed any more sugar, but anyways, on to the next thing, which is a basically a sugar donut. I'm going to take a bite and show you guys what's inside. Ready? Mm, it's really dry. <laughs> is this supposed to taste this way? Wow. Wow, guys. 
I think there's the cream. Do you see that? <laughs> like dry. I don't think they're supposed to taste like that. I don't know. They look so fluffy, look so soft, and I thought inside it was gonna be super creamy. Um, this one's kind of dry, so maybe maybe don't recommend. Do you think to savor it to save it? Oh, okay. Here we go. Woo. A little bit better. Oh, mm, bring some moisture to it, you know. All right. Well, the good thing is the hot chocolate is delicious. So, besides all the food and just walking around, there's a lot of different like shops and arts and crafts shops, clothing shops, ornament shops. So be sure to do some shopping. I'm over here at Pook. <laughs> They're selling like really cute socks. So let's just see what they have. <laughs> All right, so I guess this is like a little pajama shop. Oh, that's that's cute. This one right here, guys. That's nice. Yeah, get one for your loved ones. That's the gift. Just kidding, buy my merch instead. You guys come to this winter village. It's a really good spot to get little gifts and things for your friends and family. So, I mean, right over here, there's like arts jewelry. There's like spices and tea. And then there's towels, <laughs> towels. There's blankets. Oh, there's candles over here. I love a good candle. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, actually, last year I went to a winter market and I bought the candle from this store right here. So it smells so good. I'm gonna just walk in here. Oh, look at this fancy candle, but this is actually what I bought. It smells fantastic in here. They're soy candles. Soy candles are the way to go. They're better for you. Oh, look at these guys. Wow. Oh, wow. They're like little lamps and you can... Uh, Hi. It comes in a kit. Oh, it comes in you a can, kit. You can make all of the shape. All of the, all of the shape. The shape. You, you can, can change, change the shape. Yeah. Today, this shape next month, this shape next year, this shape next year. Wow, yeah. that's and so choose cool. Your colors. Choose your colors. How many colors you want to customize. Yeah. You and can customize yeah. it too. You yeah. have it long extension. What? Plug it. Switch for off nose, put it for him, put here like. Oh, amazing! And for outdoor, indoor, and water. Food. Anywhere! Water. It's the milk container, the milk container. Oh, Plus it's milk water. containers. Yeah. Wow, it's recycled yeah. milk containers, and they okay. turn it into these materials okay. where you can create these lamps. Very, How very cool! Very fun project, it's very fun project. Yes, amazing! Hi, right, sirs and ladies, so there you go. That is the Winter Village Winter Market here at Bryan Park in New York. <laughs> So we tried a bunch of different snacks and goodies, walked you around the whole park just to give you the holiday experience here in Manhattan. I know a lot of you guys can travel this year. I also know there's not a lot of winter markets this year. So we're going to make the best of what we can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy the treats. Let me know in the comments below which of the holiday treats that we tried today would you love to try. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, the winter outside. Wait. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. The fire is so <laughs> scary. I know I'm, I'm about to eat the head. Yeah, eat, give head. Eat the head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Stop. <laughs>